The new headquarters, located along the Hosea Kutako Drive, has been named after former President Hifike Punye Pohamba. The 10-floor building houses all services of the ministry, including the issuing of IDs, birth and death certificates, among others. President Gengob cautioned against the corrupt issuance of national documents as it poses security risks. Furthermore, I also call upon the ministry to ensure that national documents are only issued to those who are entitled to have them. Our passport is becoming cheaper, it is in demand, but I know there are those who are smuggling it, and we have to close those loopholes. You must adopt a zero tolerance for those who corruptly issue such documents to people who are not entitled to possess them. Such practice poses a security risk. It is known that Namibian documents are highly sought after by some nationals of other countries. Therefore, Namibians should jealously guard these documents so that they do not fall in the wrong hands. Dr. Gingob further hailed the reduction in the waiting period for national documents as a remarkable achievement which compares favorably with international standards. I am proud to say that this ministry has come a long way in improving service delivery to our people. At independence, almost all civil registration records were in South Africa. Against these challenges, service delivery, service delivery was very slow. For example, it used to take months to obtain a national identity card, a birth certificate, a permanent residence permit, a work visa, a student study permit, or passport. Namibians used to queue in the early hours of the morning to apply for such services. Over time, considered efforts were made to improve services. The police force was merged into a truly national police force. The building was constructed at a cost of about 750 million Namibian dollars and constructed over a seven-year period. Remember that you will be working in this building in order to render efficient service delivery to our citizens and foreigners. Therefore, you should adopt a service culture defined by a commitment to excellence.